hate YouTubers. Um, I've never, I like YouTube. Never been on it. YouTubers, lovers of the art community. Today I was posting art pictures on Instagram and I got a couple comments from longtime friends that I've actually not seen in a really long time since I was a baby. And they're wanting me to do pieces for them and they're asking me for prices. See, I, when I started drawing, it was an emotional thing for my anxiety and my feeling of not wanting, being wanted by anyone, or at least I felt that way. So my drawing was just the way I sat and thought things out. So sometimes I feel a little negative towards my drawing, like I only draw when I'm depressed kind of thing, but that's not true. I draw because it makes me happy even though I'm depressed. So, um, I don't know. Today I just kind of, everybody's encouraged me to get serious about my art and sell it and make a business kind of out of it. And I don't usually feel all that accomplished about myself, so I really didn't think it's something I could do. But, I don't know, today it's just, why not? Why not? There's plenty of artists out there where I look at their art and I'm like, it's not me. It's not something I'm feeling, but they do great, so why shouldn't I try? And if my friends and family like my stuff, then I should just, I should keep doing it. So, I'm going to work on some art today. Um, I've actually gone all the way to a printing company before and talked to them about putting some of my artwork on hoodies and t-shirts and tank tops, and they were excited about it, so... Um, I'll probably go back to them and actually do it. I think I should. Hit some art shows this year in the Grants Pass, Ashland, Medford area. Um, but thing about my art is, I'm poor. <laughs> I live in a camp trailer with a dog, a very large dog. And, um, I don't actually have a place to draw. I don't have a desk. I don't even have a chair. So... All of my artwork is literally going to be done on the floor. And I don't I don't draw something and then picture shop it together. Picture shop it, Photoshop it together. There we go. I don't scan it onto a computer and remove the uh, dirty fingerprints. <laughs> I try not to make those in the first place. Um, but smudges do happen. So all of my stuff is hand-drawn. Beginning to end, I don't trace. I don't print. I draw it. And then I design on top of it. So, a lot of work goes into these. I probably spend more of my paycheck on art supplies than I do food. Not good. I guess. It makes me happy, so. And I'm skinny. Anyway, so I guess what I'm getting at is I'm going to kind of show you guys what it's like for me to do my art. And maybe if I keep doing these little clips, you guys will get to see what happens. Like... Do I go somewhere with it? Do you eventually see me have a desk to draw on? Something to contain all my art supplies. Art supplies I need. Nice ones that I can actually use and look great. Um, I gotta get my teeth fixed. Um, yeah. Maybe you guys will see me move out of this trailer. Maybe buy my own place one day. Which I intend to do whether my art takes off or not. Because I do have a full-time job, four days a week, so there's that. Anyway, back to something less interest, more interesting than me jabbering on. Um, so, this is my uh, art surface. Yeah. And I cleaned it up, swept it off. It's all clean now. The only thing is, this is my floor. It's a small space. Like I said, I have a large dog. So, who has eaten my trash? I'll clean that up in a minute. So, I have to lock the dog out. I have to get all my art supplies out on this floor. Yeah. So that's, that's the chore I've got, but I guess I'll just show you guys how that works out for me. First thing I'm going to do is close the blinds, because having my art have these bright spots and then dark spots <clears throat> messes with my head, people. So, I'm going to shut the blinds. It's super hot in here anyway, so maybe it'll help. So, please, no judgment. I live where I can. <laughs> 